So over here, you can see that I have a table. And if you want to insert out data inside of this table by using SQL query, then you can easily do that by clicking on create button right here and by going into query design. So once you go around into the query design area, you can click on SQL to open up the code writing area. And then over here to insert out data, you need to type in the command insert into right here, just like this. So once you go around and type that in, you need to type in the uh, name of the table where you want to insert out the data. And in my case, I'm just going to go around and type in prices right here. And over here, you need to type in the field names where you want to insert the data serially now inside of bracket. So I'm going to open up the bracket right here. And let's say I want to insert out the data in expert ID, topic, skill, and price right here. So I'm going to uh, go around and type in expert ID, just like this, expert ID right here, press comma space, and then type in topic. And I'm going to type in skill. And then finally, it is going to be price right here, just like this, serially right here. So I'm going to press enter right here and type in values just like this. So once I do that, and uh, now, according to what you see over here on the top, you will have to type in the values serially over here. So expert ID is a number field, so I can just go around and type in a number. So I'm just going to go around and say seven, let's say for example, press comma and space right here. And topic is um, a string value. It has characters right here. So, so I need to open out an inverted comma right here. So once I do that in the topic, I'm going to type in, let's say for example, in copy right here, just like this and close the inverted comma. Press comma space right here and then open out inverted comma again. And in the skill area, I'm going to type in basic just like this. So I'm going to say basic, close out the inverted comma and press comma again, uh, space and price is a numerical data. So I'm just going to go around and type in the value, the number without any inverted comma and close the bracket right here. And finally add in a semicolon right here. So you can see that now over here in the insert area, um, insert uh, into area right here, I uh, added in the table name and then all the fields where I want to add the data followed by values in the same exact order that I type in the field names in. So once you do this, you can go around into query design and hit run right here. And what happens is that it says you're about to append one row. And once you click yes, you can't use the undo command to reverse the changes. Are you sure you want to append the selected row? So I'm just going to say yes. And what happens is that the data will be added over here in the table but you don't see anything because we need to refresh out the table first. So you need to close the price right here, double click on prices and over here at the end, you can see that whatever data we typed in, it is there in the table now. And that is how you can use the insert into SQL query to insert our data in table inside of Microsoft Access. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.